Now we come face to face with greed, the embodiment of insatiable avarice. In the grand narrative of Full Metal Alchemist, greed is introduced as a character driven by an insatiable hunger for worldly possessions. His relentless pursuit of wealth, power, and immortality is as part of his essence as his carbon-hardened skin. Yet beneath this self-serving exterior, Greed is a complex character with an intriguing arc. Unlike his fellow sins, Greed often exhibits a rebellious streak, openly defying the plans of the series' primary antagonists. His role gradually evolves, shifting from a ruthless antagonist to an unlikely ally. But perhaps the most compelling aspect of Greed's character is his unexpected transformation. Over time, his relentless desire for possessions morphs into a longing for companionship, revealing a deep-seated loneliness. This shift culminates in a selfless sacrifice, a poignant testament to his character development. Through greed, we learn that even the most selfish desires can lead to unexpected redemption. Moving forward, we encounter Sloth, the embodiment of indolence. This colossal being, despite his immense strength, is characterized by an overwhelming sense of lethargy. It's a curious contradiction, isn't it? The irony of Sloth is that he is the most physically powerful among the seven deadly sins, yet he is also the most apathetic, often expressing his desire to avoid work at all costs. His most significant contribution to the story is his monumental task of digging the nationwide transmutation circle. An undertaking of such magnitude requires extreme dedication and determination, qualities that seem to be at odds with Sloth's inherent nature of indolence. But it's through this labor that Sloth unwittingly becomes a pivotal piece in the grand scheme of things. Through Sloth, Full Metal Alchemist takes a deep dive into the consequences of idleness. The character serves as a stark reminder and a cautionary tale of what can happen when one neglects their duties and potential. In Sloth, we see the tragic results of neglecting one's duties and potential. Next, we confront Wrath, the embodiment of uncontrolled rage. Wrath, also known as Fuhrer King Bradley, is a force to be reckoned with in Full Metal Alchemist. He's a man of power, a leader who commands respect and instills fear. Yet beneath that composed exterior lies a seething fury, a rage that fuels his every action. Unique among his peers, Wrath possesses the ultimate eye, an ability that grants him extraordinary perception and accuracy. It's this power that makes him a formidable adversary, allowing him to predict and counter his enemy's moves with deadly precision. But it's not just his abilities that set him apart. Wrath is a strategist, a mastermind who executes his plans with ruthless efficiency. He's a testament to the destructive potential of anger when it's allowed to run rampant, when power is left unchecked. His role in the series is critical, driving the narrative forward and forcing the protagonist to confront their own limitations. Wrath, with his explosive anger, shows us the dangers of unchecked power and rage. Finally, we meet Pride, the embodiment of arrogant superiority. Pride, the first homunculus created by Father, holds a unique status among the seven deadly sins. He is not just a sin, he is the eldest, the most powerful, the most feared. His abilities are truly terrifying, controlling shadows that can slice through anything, making him a formidable adversary. As the narrative unfolds, we see Pride's arrogance on full display. His dismissive demeanor, his condescending outlook, his belief in his own superiority, all these characteristics paint a vivid image of an individual consumed by Pride. He views himself as supreme above all, a perception that ultimately leads to his downfall. His arrogance blinds him, makes him underestimate his opponents, and overlook their strengths. He fails to see that power isn't everything and that there's strength in vulnerability. In Pride, we see the downfall of one who sees himself as above all else. These seven deadly sins, each unique in their manifestations, bring to life the dangers of succumbing to our darkest vices. From the seductive allure of lust, we've learned that desire can be a powerful and destructive force. It can lead us astray, compelling us to seek satisfaction at any cost. Then there's gluttony, the embodiment of insatiable hunger and want. His character teaches us the perils of unchecked consumption and the devastating consequences of never being satisfied. Envy, seething with jealousy, serves as a stark reminder of the destructive power of resentment. It shows us how such feelings can warp our perceptions and lead us to destructive actions. Greed, on the other hand, 
illustrates the dangers of unchecked ambition and the desire for more. His relentless pursuit of wealth and power showcases the pitfalls of avarice. Sloth, the epitome of laziness and indifference, warns us about the dangers of complacency and the loss that comes with a lack of motivation. His existence is a testament to the harm that can come from neglecting our duties and responsibilities. Wrath, fueled by anger and vengeance, is a powerful example of the destructive force of unmanaged rage. It teaches us how unchecked anger can lead to devastating consequences and the importance of managing our emotions. And finally, there's pride, the most dangerous of the sins. His arrogance and superiority complex remind us of the dangers of an inflated ego and the importance of humility. But these characters are more than just embodiments of sin. They represent the darker aspects of our own nature, the inner demons we all struggle with. They serve as a cautionary tale, a warning of what can happen when we let these vices take control. In the end, Full Metal Alchemist's seven deadly sins serve as a mirror, reflecting our own potential for darkness and the importance of resisting these destructive urges. Through their stories, we are reminded of the power of self-control, the value of humility, and the necessity of maintaining a balanced life.